it's a I gotta say this about the Minarellis. I've seen people get screwed on these so bad. I I don't understand why people pay what they are to these other people online and then they get burned half the time. So I'm just gonna explain the Minarelli super easy, okay? You go online, you order the jug. I mean the kits depending on what you get. Um they're from thirty five dollars with probably thirty bucks shipping on AliExpress. So you're in like sixty bucks for the jug, the piston and the gasket. <clears throat> I mean, let's, uh, dive right into this. All right. So when you get one, I mean, literally, you're going to need a drill press. You got to drill through here in this section, okay? Right through eight millimeter. You actually need like a nine millimeter drill bit, one size bigger. Uh, I would not go past ten, otherwise you're getting close to some stuff. All right. So, anyways, so you have to drill these in a drill press. I mean, anybody can do that. Okay. And then you see this fancy little plate. Now I cut this on a milling machine and I have a video where I CNC milled this. Got it. Then I did this for a G2 read. And um, I mean, all you need is a square plate with four holes drilled in it. Two tapped and a hole saw right through the middle. You can use any read you want on this. You know, Oz read, G2 read. I wouldn't say a dio read because it's a little more a little more complex, but I'm just saying you can do that. This would cost you five bucks for a piece of aluminum or steel plate. You drill the four holes, two you tap, and just some kind of center hole. That's it. As far as the bottoms go, when I make these, and if you've seen me, I, I have a video on this too. This is not rocket science, people. I buy a 90 millimeter piece of cutoff stock that you can buy them 10 millimeter thick for 40 millimeter cranks, 8 millimeter thick for 38 millimeter cranks. Okay, you go on eBay, you buy a round 90 millimeter <clears throat> piece of uh, round stock. That's the actual height you want. <clears throat> That's it. All you do is you take your gasket and you put it on and you can trace the pattern. I mean, you'll have to dremel it out or something, whatever. And you take the gasket for the mineral on the other side, dremel it out and just blend the two together. But I mean, all in all, if you want to just buy the spacer itself, that's like 20 bucks, you know, 30 bucks online. One of the places that sell them. So, I mean, this is not a $300 item. <laughs> you know, the pistons are nothing special. I actually run the motorized bicycle ones in mine. Uh, it's ceramic coated. I got a video on that. It's a whole other topic. You know, it's a standard motorized bicycle head. You want something big in aluminum so it cools it. And I mean, that's it. I mean, you're paying $300 for a plate and a plate and them getting you the piston and jug which just makes no sense to me so I mean I'm sorry to point that out but this is like really not worth what everyone scares you over I mean a little effort you could make this plate and you sure as hell could just get a square piece of aluminum four bolt holes like I said so I don't know why people are paying so much for this, but you know, on the cheap end, these are 60 bucks. On the aluminum side, they're uh, 160 roughly for the jugs. So, and the other thing you would have to do regardless is find some way to, uh, you know, get an exhaust, which there's tons of people making them now for Minarelli builds, so. Um, the other thing to note, you want like a VM20 
or a VM22 carb. You know, the VM20 is like almost perfect usually, right in the ballpark. And so is the VM22. So, I mean, I don't know. And the PZ20 carb that they're all pushing now, you can't buy jets. And uh, a lot of them, when you run that, you scar the shit out of the inside of the thing. So, uh, I would, this one, hundreds and hundreds of miles on it. So, if you guys can see in there, I don't know. But, let me see if I can get a better shot of that. Alright, let's do that with the light. But, see. I mean, this is the jug that I have ran forever. I mean, it's still got good cross hatching and stuff. As you can see, I mean, like with any two stroke, there's a little bit of wear here, but I can't even feel that. So, anyways. But that's all. I mean, they just, they match the two transfers on a spacer. And that. And then they screw you for 300 bucks for something that should cost you, you know, a couple bucks for a plate, say 25 if you bought that. I mean, Smolik and stuff, they sell those. You can go on, buy one. I mean, go for it. Say it's aggravation. So you spent another 60 on the thing. So you're 90 and five bucks maybe for the plate. So. I'm getting $95 for something they sell you for 300 bucks. That's crazy. So anyways, alright, peace.